Throughout my daily uploads this season, these seven NBA All-Stars haven't gotten nearly enough respect, so we're going to give them some long overdue credit by breaking down their dominant yet overlooked impact. Right quick, only 11.8% of you watching right now are subscribed, so if you haven't already, please subscribe and turn on notifications. Also, if you think the dunk contest needs revising, leave a thumbs up. It takes a few seconds and makes a massive difference. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at dflowhoops and I'll follow you back. Link down below in the description for those two platforms. Luka Doncic February has seen Doncic become the fourth player in NBA history with multiple 45-point, 15-rebound, 5-assist games in a calendar month and the first since Wilt Chamberlain in 1966. Carrying Dallas to the number five seed in the West, Luka's February averages of 36 points, 11 rebounds, and nine assists per game on 47% shooting from the field and 43% shooting from three-point range have kept the Mavs in the hunt for home court advantage in the first round of 2022's playoffs. Making up for a lack of an explosive first step, the Slovenian sensation's offensive bag is as crafty as it gets. From Luka's brilliant passing awareness in the pick and roll, to his array of polished post-up moves, and of course his once-in-a-lifetime shooting off the dribble with range from damn near 40 feet, the soon-to-be 23-year-old has already built up the entire package offensively. Who knows how good this kid's going to be once he hits his prime. For the time being, since December 31st, his Mavs are 19-6, which is right behind the Phoenix Suns and Memphis Grizzlies for the third best record across the association. Trey Young In a shocking win over the Phoenix Suns, which I didn't give the Hawks any credit for on this channel, Trey Young recorded his 20th career 40-point game. That made Trey the sixth player of all time with at least 20 40-point games before turning 24 since 1977. Shaquille O'Neal, Kevin Durant, Tracy McGrady, LeBron James, and Michael Jordan are the only other players to achieve that. Some decent company for the ice tray. Since the final day of 2021, Hawks fans have seen their ball club post the seventh best record in the NBA. You can attribute a good amount of that success to Trey's 28.9 assist averages. Most impressively about Young is that he's attempting the fewest free throws per night since his rookie year, but he's making up for the new ways of refing by draining a career best 45.3% of his shots from the field and also a career best 38.3% from beyond the arc. He's absolutely despised by fans in New York who chanted Trey is balding in last year's playoffs, but the kid's got a killer mentality, which has to be respected. Carl Anthony Towns. The three-point contest champion put on an absolute show in Cleveland, and his Timberwolves are quietly having a great season, seeing breakout years from Anthony Edwards and Jalen McDaniels, while getting solid production from D. Loading and Malik Beasley. Proving that Ants and Cat are an underrated duo, Towns and Edwards have each scored 20 plus points in the same game 15 times this season, tied with Kevin Durant and James Harden for the second most by any pair of teammates in 2022. Edwards has been insane, but the T-Wolves wouldn't be sitting 7th in the Western Conference without the steadiness of the NBA's most prolific stretch big man in Carl Anthony Towns, whose 41% three-point stroke leads all centers with at least 30 minutes of playing time by a wide margin. LeBron James In the last game before the All-Star break, LeBron James recorded his 23rd consecutive game with 25 points or more, tying Joel Embiid for the longest streak this season. He also tied Elgin Baylor for the longest streak of 25 plus points or more by a Laker. For the type of lethal criticism that's constantly been on LBJ since his days at St. Vincent St. Mary High School, the fact that he's gotten involved in little to no significant controversies on and off the court throughout his 19 year career is something that doesn't get talked about enough with him. While LeBron was voted the NBA's most hated star player in a poll across each US state, he's never come close to facing any difficulties with the law, which is something that can't be said about stars from a previous era who had a similar amount of pressure on them. There's been no athlete in the history of sports that's taken care of their body better than LaCryo Chamber James. There's media members who have made a living off tearing apart LeBron for a decade plus, yet LeBron's kept his head on straight for the most part, and in year 19, the King surpassed Kareem Abdul-Jabbar in the all-time scoring records, counting both the regular season and playoffs, and he's on his way to more incredible records. We gotta give some respect to the longevity of King James, whether you agree with his opinions or not. Joel Embiid 
As you just heard, JoJo had 23 consecutive 25-plus point performances until that was ended on February 12th. The month of January saw the process average 34 points per game and come up 24 points short of joining Wilt Chamberlain, Allen Iverson, and Hal Greer as the only 76ers players to score 500 points in a calendar month. Joel's not just dominating with pure force, but with the Bucks hedging on this possession, watch how balanced, fluid, and guard-esque Embiid makes this pull-up jumper look, even with Portis right there in his grill. Next, with Joel matched up with Ibaka, despite Serge playing similarly solid defense to Portis, an inverted jab step, a couple dribble combos to fake the drive, and a polished one-legged step back is too much to handle. On the other end, when Joel's knocking it loose and bursting out in transition for an easy catch and stuff, that proves the typically injury-prone center is in prime condition. Knock on wood and beat can stay healthy and perform like this in the postseason with Harden joining the squad. Jason Tatum. Quietly, JT leads all small forwards in defensive rating, but second place is his running mate Jalen Brown, who definitely deserved a spot in the All-Star game. The Celtics' two top options have each scored 30-plus points in the same game four times this season, as often as they did in their first four seasons combined as teammates. No other duo has done it more than twice this season. DeMar DeRozan and Zach Levine of the Bulls were one of those duos that did it twice. We covered the Celtics a few weeks ago before the deadline, but the trade for Derek White has made the Seas even better, so we'll see how Tatum can keep leading the squad. JT is posting incredible 26, 8, and 4 averages for Beantown, cementing himself as one of the smoothest scorers on planet Earth. Nikola Jokic. Four ahead of San Antonio's first-time All-Star DeJounte Murray, the Joker's 15 triple-doubles lead the association in 2021-22. Jokic is now just six behind Wilt Chamberlain for the sixth most amount of triple-doubles of all time. This campaign has seen the greatest passing big man of all time and the reigning MVP post 26, 14, and 8. And right before the break, in a win at the buzzer over the Warriors, Jokic had 35 points, 17 boards, and 8 dimes on 13 of 24 shooting. I posted one Nuggets video around a month ago, but other than that, Jokic has gone completely overlooked, so look for more content on the Joker's dominance in future uploads. Who's the most disrespected all-star in your opinion? Best answer down below in the comments gets next video shoutout. Top 5 commenters with the most shoutouts by March 21st receive free NBA merchandise of their choosing this spring. So leave your take on today's question to compete in Community Speaks. Today's winner is Boston Haltane for a second straight day who says the Raptors have the talent to make an upset this postseason, but I think with how strong the East has been this year, it'll be extremely tough. There are so many great and good teams in the East, including the Nets, Bucks, Heat, Bulls, Cavs, etc. Toronto does have one of the best fan bases in the NBA, though, so that definitely will help during the playoffs when the crowd becomes an important part of the vibe in the arena. Happy All-Star Weekend. I hope you have a great one. d -Flo signing off.